Hello, everyone. Welcome to Ed Talk TV, conversations worth having. I'm your host, Ed Troxel. If you haven't been here before, this is all about, this show is all about business tech and the user experience. And primarily we're on Facebook. And today we're streaming on both Facebook and Instagram. You know, it felt like one of those days just to test things out. Uh, before I get too far into there, if you don't know who I am, uh, I already said my name, but just to let you know, I am a business coach and tech expert. So I help business owners make their business easier online through the use of technology. Kind of messed that intro up and that's all good because it's live, but basically I make online business easy for you. So be sure to uh, check after this the link in my bio or in my about section and you can head over to my website at troxelcreative.com. It's right there on the screen for you for Facebook. So today I wanted to test this out because it felt like a good testing day. And it's one of those days where I thought, you know what, we're going to not only test going live on Instagram and Facebook all at once, but we're also going to work on a DIY editorial calendar. Now, the reason why I'm doing this and I thought it would be fun to do for the actual uh, workshop, well, it's not really a workshop, but for the show is... It's something I have to do anyway for a client, and this is just going to be a, a trial, a test one for you guys, but um, I thought, you know, we have all these tools and resources online, which is great, but how many of us get overwhelmed with that, right, in terms of having all the tech and trying to figure out what, what to do and how to do it, and we just want to know how can we kind of get from here to the paper and really be able to uh, simplify our process for sharing posts. So I thought, let's try this out. We'll, we'll test going live. We'll, we'll do a little DIY here. Now, of course, you can always get a calendar online. There's different uh, templates available. There's different uh, actual ones you can get on Amazon, all kinds of things. But today we're just going to do a, a simple one here. By the way, this is like my second workshop today. So I'm stumbling on my words if you're new around here. Don't judge, don't judge. And by the way, I am also the tech guy, so my handwriting is going to not be very good, just to let you know. Anyway, let's jump into today's content. Be sure to say hello, even if you're watching the replay. What I have here is just a simple white uh, foam board, dollar store, super cheap, easy to get, and it's blank. Then I also have post-its in two different colors. And then I also have pens, different colors and a regular pen. That's really all you need. And what we want to do here is go through and simplify the process, okay? So you have your, this is going to be for a month, just a month. So we have our week. And this will be one, two, three, four. So you got your, your four weeks in a row. You can do this on a spreadsheet, by the way, make it look clean and nice. This is going to be super quick and just easy for you guys here. Then you're going to have up here your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then if you go on, you can do that as well. So one column is your weeks. The other call row across the top is going to be your days. And now here is what you want to do with the post-its. You want to get a post-it, and you don't have to use two colors. You can do one, but maybe you want to use different colors for one for Instagram, one for Facebook, another one for Twitter, whatever it may be. But basically, you take your post-it, and you go week one, Monday. What are you going to post on Monday? So in this case, we'll say on Monday, we want to post on Instagram and Facebook. So you put in... IG for Instagram, you put in FB for Facebook. Then you put your topic. So what's your topic for IG? Let's say you want to post a new product. Post new product. Now on Instagram, you can do that in several locations. You can post a new product in the newsfeed. You can post the product in your stories. And you can post the product in IGTV. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can do there. Now on Facebook, what do you want to do? Well, let's do the same thing. Let's post about our product, but let's do something a little different. Because we know Facebook loves live broadcasting. And that's their thing. That's what they want you to do. 
So let's do a Facebook Live, FB Live, showcasing the new product. So what does that look like? That looks like you opening up the product, unboxing it, and showing the features. Letting people know what just came in and showcasing all the things that it can do or has or feels, whatever it may be. That's it. Simple. Don't worry about time. Don't, you know, because your first question is going to be like, how long do I have to do this? Do I have to be on camera like you are right now? No. You don't have to be on camera. You could just simply do a voiceover, basically. So you can go live and not have the camera on you, but have it on the product. Simple, right? And then you just talk about it. So now, here is your DIY calendar. Vanna White right there. Uh, and you got your Monday through Friday. You can do more if you need to. You have your weeks here. And then you start putting in your post-its. So then that way you know what's what. Now the reason I bring this up and why I wanted to test this on the live here is because having something tangible is so nice. And it helps us get from here to the paper. When we start inter introducing the technology, as great as it can be, we get lost. There's lots of things that can happen. We, we put endless things into a folder that we never see. It becomes the black hole, and it, it's there. So having something like this is helpful, and if you don't want to go spend a ton of money on getting you know a nicely printed out one or one of the big wall calendars, poster board for a dollar, post-its, which you probably already have, and pens. We only use one color here, but you can get as crazy and fancy as you want. And then you're able to look at it visually and stick it up on the wall and say, okay, now I know what I need to do. And you can do this each week or for the whole month like we have here. And what's nice about this is then you can actually go up to it. When you do this, you can go up and say, Facebook, sorry, Instagram, new post. Check. How many of us love to put that check mark, right? So you have to think about what works for you and test it out and see what's going on. Just like right now, you're seeing me live through Instagram, but if you were to be on my Facebook business page right now or go watch the replay later, you'll actually see that I'm streaming my Instagram live on my Facebook page. It's, it's a little more complicated than that, but in a nutshell, that's what's happening. So you're seeing the view from what Instagram viewers would see. So it's, it's pretty cool. It's something I wanted to test out and see. Uh, so definitely uh, take a look and kind of see what's going on there. But really, this is it in a nutshell, is that you just have your weeks across. Again, you can do a, a spreadsheet if you wanted to. Your weeks here, your days here, and then do post-its and break things down. Remember, you don't have to be on every social media platform. Choose one that you really are comfortable with and that you want to really learn, and then have a backup. Facebook, Twitter, whatever it may be. And those are all, the backups are the ones that you can then, when you have time, share to. And as we can see, there's lots of things going on with Facebook in terms of Facebook owns Instagram, for those who don't know, and what they're doing is they're making it more seamless for you to post on either platform. So a lot of you are going to be either Facebook only or Instagram only. Some will be in between, but Facebook's allowing you now to have that carryover, meaning on Facebook, when you post an image, for some accounts, it's now allowing you to post to Instagram. We didn't have that before. And if you're on Instagram, it allows you to post on your business page, as well as on Twitter. So it's all these things that are starting to connect, the dots are starting to get connected, so that you don't have to always think about logging in, logging out, going to this one, going to that one. So it's going to be easier for you. But you have to keep in mind that people are going to be different. They're going to want different things on different platforms sometimes. Sometimes all the time. Um, so you just have to play with that. But pick your main one that you want to show up with and then have your secondary one where you can post afterwards. So that way you can know and go through there. Rhonda on Facebook says, watching you live on Facebook. Awesome. And then I got Austin over here on Instagram, which is super cool. So 
it's it's just something fun and something to test. Again, you can make this as crazy as you want, but this is like literally simple, and this is something that you can do within a few minutes, as you saw here, and it will really help you figure out what is it that you want to post. Remember, we've talked about this if you've been following me. You want to think about what's one topic and up to three talking points that you can share. And that could be for a Facebook Live, that could be for an Instagram Live, that could be for a post, a story, whatever it may be. But just pick something and then simplify it, break it down, and, and try to you know tell that story. What's that experience like? And go from there. Hey, Tammy, welcome over on Facebook. Yeah, Tammy's tuning in. She's like, horizontal versus vertical platforms are challenging. They are. They are. And so it's really interesting to see how things will work. It will also be very cool to see how this looks and how, what I do with this afterwards. Like I said, I'm testing. I'm going live directly through both platforms, but the view that you're seeing, if you're on Facebook, is my Instagram live view. I know. It's crazy. It's crazy. Some of you are probably like, I lost you, Ed. I don't know. It's all good. It's all good. I'm testing, and that's what I always encourage you to do is to test and see what works um, because technology makes us afraid. Am I right? Sometimes, maybe a lot of the times, we feel like technology is just, it, it, it's holding us back. And I don't want that to hold you back, especially because your business needs to be online and we need to get you out there. We need to get you seen and we want to be able to make it so that other people can engage with you and you can engage with them easily. So anyway, I hope that this was helpful. If you need anything, at troxelcreative.com is where you'll go. By the way, if you haven't taken the new quiz, Take a look at that. There's a new quiz. It's on my website. Uh, it's what kind of entrepreneur are you? So take the quiz and let me know. Tag me on whichever platform you're on and let me know what your results are. I'm really excited about that. And if you haven't already, check out the Head Network. You can get that from my website or just go to heyednetwork.com. That's for every business owner. And if you're not in there, you should be. That's where you can get all the support you need for your small business all month long for one low price. So take a look. That's where I'm at all the time. And until next time, I will see you guys later. All right, guys, take care and have a great afternoon.